it's Rudy from Better Music. Today I'm here with um, a brand new series of digital piano from Roller Corporation, and it's the new LX series. So we've got the LX705, the LX706, and the LX708. So today in the studio here we have the LX705, which is the starter model in the LX series. Um, they're all basically the same design piano. So although we're shooting a video here on the 705, in terms of what you're hearing in the recording, because we're recording out of the outputs, you're hearing exactly the same as if I was playing a 706 or a 708. For the intent of what you're listening to today, um, what I'm talking about and everything I say about this piano also applies to the, the 706 and the 708 model. So this is a whole new series. Let's look back for a moment and look at the previous series from Roland, which was the LX7, LX17 series. They were quite groundbreaking in their design uh, and really set the benchmark for what a high quality digital piano could accomplish. And that, that model range was very, very successful and a lot of people bought them and a lot of people play them and were very, very happy with them. So what have they done? What, what have they changed? Well, it was already a very good product, and when the new product came out, I thought, well, geez, how are they going to make it a lot better? Obviously, they always do, but we're going to talk about what they've done that's different. So the main difference between this um, and the previous series is the sound engine is completely new. Uh, so they used supernatural modeling uh, before. So now the technology is called pure acoustic modeling, and you might think, oh, well, it's just a name change. Well, it's not really just a name change. The uh, computer processor on board now has two completely different dedicated chips to two different sound engines. So rather than having one sound engine, which a whole bunch of different models to create one sound, we have two completely different uh, processes on the, on the board inside the pianos across the whole range that models two different pianos. And those two different pianos are an American model piano and a German model piano. Now, we all know there's only one piano manufacturer in the world that builds the world's most famous pianos in America and in Germany, and that's Steinway. So, these are the, the, the models that have been designed uh, in the LX series. So not only do we have two completely different models, which obviously adds, you know, uh, it's like having two pianos in one, and you've got two completely different characters, but the detail uh, on the modeling and the extent to which you can hear all the nuances in the two different pianos has been amped up. And um, from playing the pianos, there's just more detail in the sound. And at first you don't notice it straight away, but as you start to play it more and listen to it, you realize how detailed the sound is. So let's go through and just have a listen to a few of the different um, models in here. So we're gonna start with the, um, the European Grand. There's two European Grand models in here. We'll start with number one, which is actually the one I was playing in the intro. trait from the previous series is there as well that just the realism that the way the sound decays it's very very natural and it, it behaves in the same way as a real piano does again the previous series had those similar nuances this has just been amped up so there's a greater level of detail to the sound so that's the European Grand One let's have a listen to in, in, in contrast to the American Grand One which again is like a, a an American style way So completely different character. Uh, it's a little bit brighter, a um, little bit more. Uh, the, the attack's a little bit, a little bit sharper. So it lends itself to you know different, a different playing style. Now we have another variation on this as well. Now on top of that, of course, I can get into the piano designer feature here and edit every nitty gritty parameter of that sound. I can change a soundboard type, and um, we'll go into a little bit more detail about that later on. But let's have a quick listen now. Again, in contrast, let's go to the European European piano number two.
like that one. That both the European, the American sounds nice, but the European uh, version too is just it's really tactile in the way it responds to the action, uh, and the sound is very detailed. Let's go to American, uh, the American version too, and see what that's like. So that's American too. I like that one better than American one. So I like a European two and American two. They're, they're my favourites. Um, but then again, you can make your own favourites because, you, as I said, you can fine tune every little parameter in the piano designer feature, and that can be done from the piano's panel or also from the piano designer app, which is uh, available on iOS and Android, and will wirelessly connect to the piano, so you can make all those edits wirelessly. So talking about changing the sounds or fine tuning. I'm just gonna show you quickly what you can achieve using the piano designer feature. Again, you can use the app to do this, but let's just do it on board the panel. So I've gone into piano designer and let's have a listen. For instance, we can do stuff like, well, let's actually close the lid on the piano. It's virtually opening and closing the lid, but it's, it's not just doing EQ or, or changing the volume, it's actually modeling the sound as it would change when you open the lid on a real grand piano. Uh, another thing we can do, for instance, so lid, uh, let's go back to, um, so you can change the hammer noise, the duplex scaling, the string resonance, the key off resonance, the noise that it makes when you lift off the keys. Really cool thing you can do also, there's, there's actually cabinet resonance, sort of a bit like haptics on your, on your iPhone. You can change the feel of the vibration under the button. So this, you can change the amount of vibration you'll actually get through the keys and the cabinet when you play loud, which is what happens on a real grand as well. So it gives you a very authentic uh, feel to the instrument. Um, one really cool feature, and this is where you can really see what the modeling does, is fiddling with the soundboard type of the piano. So you're actually changing the behavior or the design of the soundboard that's used in the model that they've made of the particular piano. So let's have a listen. This, this is on soundboard type one. Soundboard two. Changes the character completely. Uh, soundboard three. There's a, a whole bunch of other features you can do. You can adjust the key response, the key touch. Let's get to that now. So we've spoken a little bit about the sound, the, um, the pure acoustic modeling and heard what the acoustic piano sounds can do. Now, let me just mention too, the pure acoustic modeling applies to the acoustic piano sounds on board, which are there are four presets, the two American grands and the two European grands. All the other sounds on board are, are not using modeling, they're using sampling. And they've put a whole bunch of new sounds which I'll show you after we've had a chat about the action. There are some differences. The LX705, which we're playing at the moment, features the PHA50 action, which is the same action used in the previous model LX series. It's a very good action, has timber components, it's very uh, responsive and also very accurate to play. And certainly, you know, it's been a great action across the board for a little while now. So on the 706 and the 708 models, uh, they have put a new action in it, and it's the hybrid grand action that they've designed. So it's very similar to the PHA50, but the keys are actually quite a bit longer. But the pivot point uh, where the, 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 the action pivots, like on a real grand piano, is a lot longer. So it feels pretty much like a real grand piano. Obviously, it's not exactly the same, but it's giving you the similar response and the similar feel. They've even gone to the trouble of changing the balance pins on the black keys to be a couple of centimeters further back than on the white keys so that the when you're playing up in the cracks right up in the in the top of the black keys it's not too heavy as it would be on a real piano so they've gone to a lot of detail to ensure that even the, you know the most discerning pianist can actually get on this and really rip it up and play really fast and that gotta say this is probably one of the biggest improvements with this new LX series over the previous series and it's the change in action the action feels really really good 
So on top of the action, they've added the uh, new pedal system too, which is a lot more progressive and there's a greater amount of control and feel that's available on the 706 and the 708. Just before I go and show you some of the other sounds other than pianos, I do want to just show you um, the European piano too, which I like, mixed with the symphonic strings, because that's one thing that you will tend to do if you're layering sounds on a piano of this quality, is mix some nice strings in, and they do make a really nice match. Let's have a listen. Really nice blend. All right, let's have a quick chat about some of the other sounds they've poured in. So you have the whole general MIDI sound set in here. So there's a whole bunch of sounds. So if you want to play any pre-recorded MIDI files or you want to use the piano with recording software to build your own songs up, you do have the capability of writing entire 16-part uh, songs with this piano via MIDI. Uh, not all pianos in this price range have that facility. The Roland does. But in the basic settings, they have added some new sounds over the previous LX. The basic set is very similar, but they've, they've increased the, the quality and also the type of sound. So let's have a quick look in the electric piano section. They've added Roland's really nice 1976 suitcase sound, which is really good. Really nice sounds. Let's go through a few other things. So there's other string sounds in there as well, uh, things like the epic strings. of string sounds again you've got so many sound things like pipe organ so obviously the most important sounds in the new LX series are the pure modeling piano sounds and they are really really good but as we've just seen there's a whole host of other sounds you can use in here and in terms of features well they haven't skimped either I mean you can split you can layer. You also have Bluetooth MIDI and also Bluetooth audio streaming. So you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker and stream music from your, your device. You have a USB device port, so you can also record and playback WAV file and also MP3. Another thing they've done, which is modeled as well, is they've got some incredibly realistic different um, settings for the environment in which you would be playing the piano. So you can make it sound like you're in a concert hall and they're actually modeled off particular concert halls. So let's go through, this is in the My Stage section. So we've got the European grand on here at the moment we're going to listen to it on the piano recital setting then we've got a, a big hall setting lakeside studio bunch of different settings and again you can make your own versions of these as well you have of course on board registration settings where you can store your favorite settings so if you like piano and strings mixed together with certain volume levels on each patch with the right amount of reverb with the key touch set a certain way you can save these in the registration settings that are also able to be backed up onto a USB stick with those registration settings of course you can also um, use some of the presets that are in there I'll just show you a couple there's some nice settings which are already done like electric piano and a string
grand piano and electric piano. Magical piano. So those are just some of the settings. Again, you can manufacture your own, you can save them, you can use the Piano Designer app. Talking about apps, there's also a new app from Roland called Piano Every Day, which works with this piano. This is quite cool because it connects also to uh, the Sheet Music Direct store and you're able to purchase online scores and you can learn to play the songs and go through and have a whole bunch of different uh, tuition, well, not so much tuition, but you can choose whatever type of music you want to play and actually buy the sheet music and interacts with the app, connects wirelessly to the piano. Um, this is a pretty cool feature if you, you know, just starting to play or you just want to be able to use technology to get the most out of music. So again, today I have the new LX705 here in front of me and we can really talking about the whole new LX range, which is the 705, the 706 and the 708. The cabinets are really now, they're, they're sort of just like a real piano and they've got some really nice new finishes. This is actually called a charcoal finish. They do a dark rosewood finish. They do a really classy polished um, piano black, real piano finish, and they do a white finish as well. And in the 705, there also is a pure oak finish, which is a really light, nice timber color. All of these are going to be available shortly. These are still in short supply because they've just been released. Um, but just a, a really nice new change to the way they look, a little bit more modern, and certainly I think well, you'll find them really appealing. They look great. So apart from the cabinet designs, now if we had the LX708 here and 706, the 706 sits around about this height and the 708's about that high, pretty much like a, a big upright piano. So the cabinet designs are different. On the top of the range model, the lid opens on the top as well. Um, you do have music rests that slide out and um, have um, sound escapes behind the music rack as well. So the main difference with the speaker systems is on the 705, you have a two-way four speaker system. And on the 706, you have a three-way six speaker system. And on the 708, you have a four-way eight speaker system uh, with spatial speakers. Uh, the design, the, the speakers don't just get the same sound. The computer controls what goes to each speaker depending on what you're doing. It's how the modeling engine then works as a speaker system and it's sort of called behavioral modeling as well. So the piano using the speaker system will behave in the closest way possible to a real piano. Power output's similar on all. This one a, a, works out to about 60 watts, and the others are about 74 uh, watts, the 706 and 708. But with the different speaker systems and the multitude of speaker and the different speaker positioning, in the store, if you were playing them, there is quite a different experience on speakers between, say, the 705 and then the 708, even, even the 706. So for the purposes of the video, as I said to you before, what you're hearing through the recording is the same for all of them. They are of the same quality in audio fidelity in terms of what comes out of the headphone and the outputs. But the listening experience when you're sitting playing at the piano, which is hard to sort of come across in the video, is quite different. The 708 has a, a you know an incredible sound. That certainly in a in a lounge room or a home application, the 705 is still a gutsy piano and certainly will suit you know what most people would would want out of a piano in a home. Well, the other thing I want to talk about is well, why would you buy one of these? Well, the way I look at it is acoustic pianos are not dead, they're still here and a lot of people buy acoustic pianos and they're still really good. But what's happened is the entry point to an acoustic piano has, has sort of gotten higher in the sense that manufacturers don't make little small acoustic pianos anymore because there's sort of no point because digital pianos have got so good. And I mean, this is a fine example of the, where the level of technology has got to. So if you need a high quality instrument that can satisfy even an advanced pianist and you want all the, the features that you get with a piano like this, you know, the, the Bluetooth, the, the apps, the, the headphone operation, um, and the, the sort of integration that you get with the technologies, there's no reason why you shouldn't buy one of these. Uh, the action on this is superb. I mean, a, an advanced level pianist can do what they want to do on this. Sure, it's not a concert grand, but realistically, you'd have to spend you know more than double um, to get an acoustic piano that's going to give you a similar experience. So for that reason, you know, if you're a new player or a player that's coming back from having played many years ago, you're time poor, you want to be able to play even just for 15 minutes with some headphones at night, but get a really nice experience, this will be great for you. If you've got someone who's learning or a pianist is, you know, up to grade four or five, maybe even grade six, 
but an acoustic piano doesn't suit your house or the way you want to use it, look at these. They're certainly absolutely right up there in terms of being an instrument that's good enough to learn and to practice on. Uh, so again, this is a 705. This is the new LX series we've been speaking about. I'll see you next time.